slavery we are not slaves we are humans treat us equally thank you um so the police are once again galvanizing we were wondering where they were because we knew there was an 11 o'clock noise ordinance um and we hadn't seen them yet but of course um they are here so let's see what happens today honestly my mind is blown every single time like they have these conversations um because it's like well then why did you have such a strong show of police uh uh, you know, a police force, a uh, president. If all you needed to do was talk to people, then why don't you send out a public information officer and have like a civil conversation without the intimidation of like seeing officers with batons and ragging? Like when you do that, of course you're gonna face um, a fierce response from a group of individuals who are so fed up with tr- half-assed results. Sorry, if results are not at all. Emma Goldman, that's it. Thank you, Christy. You know, I can't help it. The music is amazing. Every time I see that they won't be beat down, I'm just hella inspired. Don't they sound good? We shut shit down. We shut shit down. We shut shit down. We shut shit down. She holding that sign high, so let's see what it says. Oh, okay. Why is my stream? Okay. Thank you. That's exactly true. 
Every single time you see children with music and drums, the police come out with guns and sticks and riot gear. I've had a 25 on my back there. Okay, that's not an appropriate response on behalf of law enforcement. I want it. Hey, y'all should take the audio clip of that and make it be available like on a CD or some shit because that sounded amazing. <laughs> come on, come on. Make it be a ringtone. Hey, we should take the audio clip from what just happened and make it be a ringtone. And then sell the ringtone and give the profits to Ferguson. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. We should do that, y'all. Thank you, Courtney. I thought you might be able to do that. That was absolutely beautiful, wasn't it? Everybody scoot up for two seconds. All right. They get agitated. Can you turn, get put, put, the, put the cameras yeah, down the for this bro. Okay, okay. All you got to say to me. Hey, hey, hey. We're going to let the youth organize and figure out what it is that they want to do. They decided that they want some privacy so that they're able to decide um, how they're going to take action this time around. I'm going to come stand over here so I'll see if I can maybe get a good view of what the police are doing as well. Make sure that I can keep an eye on the, all of the protesters across the street. This is obviously going to... Um, eventually, this is going to escalate past a negotiation in the middle of the street. Uh, yeah, they started chanting on negotiations last night. It was cool. Ain't no point in talking to this place. Right. No, I know. I mean... So well tonight, I didn't find out that we have to run. So, huh? I didn't say that. I said that the noise ordinance, the drums, the pots and the pans, and you can't be in the street. So I'm, I'm just asking you, if you would please do that. It's been going real well tonight. Maybe we could try. Okay. All right. That's all. I, yeah, that's fine. That's all I can ask is if you would try and do that. Actually, it's already done. It looks like. Well, it does look like it. Uh, but I just want to make sure that they can they stop the drums. So, okay. All right. Thank you very much. Can I ask you a question? That. Why did you arrest me at two o'clock in the afternoon when I was protesting for loitering? That's why. Uh, that's why. Okay. So protesting and loitering are the same thing. Well, we've been doing this for a while. Let's go. There's no question. I'm not going to ask you to point the same. Look at them. People don't ask you to point the same. They walk away with their tails between their legs. 
water is holding a sign that says arrest me. So, uh, pretty much you see that protesting and loitering are the same thing. So, does that mean loitering is now protected under the First Amendment? Like, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm like, apparently loitering and protesting have the same definition according to what was just said. So, I'm like, so does that mean that loitering is now legal under the First Amendment? Like, they have to be separate things. You know what I mean? So, if, if, so, so what was asked is why was I arrested at 2 o'clock? when I was protesting and charged with loitering, and the police responded by saying, that's why. So obviously, by their definition, protesting and loitering are the same thing, and if the Constitution is truly the highest law in this land, then loitering must be now legal under the First Amendment. You see what I mean? Because he didn't want to talk to him, and he didn't even listen to what he was saying. Exactly. You know what I mean? But that's the type of stuff that we're talking about. How do you, how do you effectively... Um, have a just law, you know, legal system if you won't have an effective communication or an effective method of communication with people who are obviously passionate and tired of being unheard. What you're seeing here is the result of a muted voice from, I don't know, generations. You know what I mean? So at that point, it's like, how, how do you just like push them to the side without giving them time to actually speak to them and then expect for them to respect your authority? Especially when, you know, they're talking, people say that they're uh, not employed and this and the other, but I'm like, even if they go buy, like we're buying cases of water, we're paying taxes on them. You know what I mean? So our taxes are still, we're still tax paying citizens, period. So at that point, we deserve at least the protection of the police department who are paid by our taxes. You know what I mean? So I don't understand why you at least would not have a conversation because every time the police come out, they listen to them first. They let the police talk and then they be like, fuck you and all that. You know what I mean? Because it is complete bullshit and that has been proven, but they are still willing to listen, but they're not being heard. And so it's like, that's, this is going to keep happening. You know what I mean? And you know, there's got to be some mechanisms built so that people can have some dignity. Exactly. You know, and, and just live with some basic necessities. You know, and, and until that happens, you're going to have this, this uh, imbalance. We have race, class, and capitalism. It, those three combined? Yeah. It's just an imbalance. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? And... and it's, it's, it's just about decency and, and human rights, you know, and, right. and, and that's all people want, you know, that, that's all people want. Right. They just want some balance and they just want some dignity, you know, so they're not constantly saddled, yeah. you know, and, and, and rolled. Right. And that's it. Right. Better than Walmart. Walmart is not the answer. You know, that's the biggest employer in America. And... Most people that work there don't have health insurance. They get paid slave wages. It's modern day slavery. And you can't raise a family like that. 